Hi and welcome to Orange Tree Lane. I'm Molly and today I'm going to show you how to make a butternut stir fry you're going to love and your body will too. The first thing you have to do is set that butternut squash free from its skin which can take a little work and the seeds. I'm going to cut it into chunks that are about at least under one inch in diameter both going both ways. I always like to try to cut as many things at one time as I can for speed. We've got the celery. You want to peel and cut your onion and all the extras can go in the freezer for another time. And we've got the kale, take it off the stem, chop it up into some smaller pieces, smaller bite-sized pieces. And now it's time to uh, melt the butter in the, in the pan and saute those onions for about five minutes till they're brown and a little bit limp when we add the butternut squash and the celery together. Now you add the kale and it cooks for about mm, maybe five, could get anywhere from five to ten minutes until it's nice and soft and then we add the garlic and the beans. I, since I'm doubling this recipe I use two different kinds of beans, white and some navy for a little variety. And those can heat up and then it's time to add the salt and the pepper. Now that we're done, I'm going to enjoy a wonderful bowl of stir butter, butternut stir fry. And of course, I have to adjust the salt, add just a little bit of balsamic vinegar to spice it up. Something that you can do for, for people who haven't eaten butternut squash or for small children is to put their serving in the blender with some vegetable broth or some um, beef or chicken broth puree it and enjoy the soup. <laughs>